Welcome back fellow sleuths, Glide here with another demo for you to sink your teeth into. Rawr. Today we have a medieval, a retro dark fantasy action shooter with about 5k positive reviews on Steam. But it is my review which matters here on this channel, so I will be the unqualified judge of that. So let's dive right into it and see if it's worth your time. You can find a medieval on Steam, and the demo is free, while the base game is sitting at 20 USD. Now that we're done with the uh, paperwork and foreplay, let's hop right into the demo and evaluate if it's worth your time and money. Graphics. Despite going for a retro theme, the game's graphics are impressive. The reflections, individual moving textures, shadows, and lighting are all well done. While there are a few weirdly clipped textures here and there, you're not really going to notice them unless you're really looking for them, and they didn't bother me so much on my uh, just playing through, like first time go, just enjoying it type of run. I was having too much fun. So, on graphics, keeping in mind that it's going for a retro theme, I give it a solid 8 out of 10. I appreciate the retro style, and it reminds me of the good old times. Now, sound. A medieval excels in sound design with its own original music composed by Andrew Holschultz. Look him up on Wikipedia, and uh, he's a big guy important man in the music. The attention to detail in the sound effects of birds, grasshoppers, fire, and footsteps is commendable. The audio is clear and smooth and avoids that muddiness that you sometimes find in games with uh, intense action. The sound rating is an easy, easy 9 out of 10. The music, the sound design, everything is fantastic. Moving on to the controls. The controls are crisp, clean, responsive, allowing for a satisfying experience. The movement, the shooting. In this demo, all those mechanics felt nice. And you really need that in a game with a lot of shooting and stabbing and slashing. There may be more mechanics in the full game that I didn't get my hands on to, but I can easily, easily give this demo's mechanics a solid 8 out of 10. It was satisfying and smooth, precise. Other words that described how nice it was to play the game. Now all that leads into the, probably the most important part of a demo, the grab factor. Does it have the grab factor? And that refers to, does it make me want to play the full game? Easily. Rating, 9 out of 10. The demo was fun, fast, and engaging, and let me want to experience more. Only thing I wished for was more levels. Like, maybe another half a level, you know, just edge me right there, and then cut me off. But I can, I can live with it. I can live with it. It was a good demo. Easy, easy 9 out of 10 for the grab factor. And the last score, which is not really a score. It's just something I made up on the fly. Approval. Yes. Good demo. Good, good demo. Overall rating, 8 out of 10. Again, like I said, could benefit, could benefit from a little bit more content, but overall impressive. So do I encourage you to go check out this game on Steam? Yeah. Go check out this game on Steam after you've liked and, you know, commented about how cool or bad this video is. And uh, you tell me if you liked it or not. And you, uh, you, you know, you liked it or you disliked it, depending on if you liked it or disliked it. Then go check out the game on Steam. It's free. And the base game is only 20 bucks. So I've been glad and I'm out. And if you want to see like the whole demo played out check uh my long play channel if i upload it there i'll link it somewhere down there all right bye